welcome to 24 Hour Sports. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing off-season guys for just basically almost every team in the NFL. But right now, I want to start off with the Buffalo Bills and looking at a couple of things. Because where do you go from here? Why have you lost in the playoffs the past three years? Have great regular seasons. You have great seeds. But for some reason, when it comes to the playoffs, you can't get past Joe Burrow. You can't get past Patrick Mahomes. And I'm wondering, why is that? You know, because I think in these past three years, you've had a better roster than those than both of those teams. You have a better roster than the Cincinnati Bengals currently. You had a better roster than the Kansas City Chiefs. And now, I'm just at the point where, what's it going to take? And a lot of people didn't want to blame Josh Allen. Gabe Davis dropped one pass. And the entire fan base wants Gabe Davis going. So I'm where do we go from this? And I've said, you know, all throughout the regular season, I saw the flaws in this offense. Josh Allen leading the team in rushing yards, that won't win. That won't win you a Super Bowl, and it's barely going to win you a playoff game because everything has to be perfect. And we know Josh Allen turns over the football. So the perfect, that's asking a lot. That's asking a lot. He's gotten the turnovers down, but still, sometimes he tries to make the big play. He's going to turn over the football at least once. And no run game. Devin Singletary, Zaire Cook, I think he played better. He had a bigger role going into the playoffs. Where I said you should have tried to trade for Saquon Barkley. I said you should have tried to get Christian McCaffrey, and none of those moves worked out for you. You didn't go get either of them. You just went on. You continued the season letting Josh Allen do it all. And that's only but so far that can take you. Let's really deep dive and look at it. We playing against Joe Burrow. We playing against Patrick Mahomes. Those guys, at least, at least for the next 10 years, will be one of the top three or four teams in the AFC. So we got to go through them regardless. Um, Looking at it, I think this is your window because the difference is Patrick Mahomes, he has a team-friendly deal, so they're going to be able to put talent around him. Travis Kelsey, he's going to be there for a little while. And the defense, I like Steve Spagnuolo. I like how he calls that up. But that's the difference, though. We look at the Cincinnati Bengals. We look at the Kansas City Chiefs, and their defense makes big plays in big games. You've had the number one-ranked defense last year. You had a top-ranked defense this year. But in the big games, why can't you stop nobody? Last year, you couldn't stop Mahomes. You had a lead in the fourth quarter with less than a minute left. You gave it up. Did, against the Cincinnati Bengals last, this weekend, couldn't get a stop. Joe Burrow, they're going down the field. They ran the ball. Surprisingly, they ran the ball. They had offensive linemen out, three starting offensive linemen out. They just getting guys in there, and you can't move them off of the football. You can't move them off the point of attack. Can't get a pass rush. And that's why you get a Von Miller. And he got hurt. But let's stop the excuses. Von Miller wasn't going to save this. Um, Offensively, like I said, no run game. Defensively, why does every time we get in a big game, something has to change? And I understand, you know, you've had a top-ranked defense. But we're not judging the Buffalo Bills on what they do in the regular season. Nobody cares. We care about what you. how can you stop Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow? Because if you can stop everybody else and you can't stop them, it don't even matter. So, um, Leslie Frazier, you know, he's on the hot seat. A lot of people want him going in Buffalo. A lot of people want the offensive coordinator going. And I wouldn't say deservedly so, but I think when you look at the big games, those guys have underperformed. Josh Allen last year, the offense, they played well in the playoffs. They played well against Kansas City. But this year, that's unacceptable. And, you know, they brought the, they brought pretty much the same team back, too. That's another note. And it wasn't a bad team. Offensive line. So where do we go for the Buffalo Bills? Where do we take this in the offseason? Do we look at offensive line? Because you were under pressure all game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Do we look at defensive line? I like Ed Oliver. I like Gregory Rousseau. But do we need some bigger bodies in the middle? Especially when Vaughn comes back. We're going to be pretty thin on the edge. So, especially with corner, do we, do we make moves? If we were to, per se, get off Gabe Davis and get off a guy like Tredavious White, what are we what are we looking for in return for that? Are we looking for players? Are we looking for picks and going younger? What's the return going to be on that? And I don't think that either guy's trade value is particularly high. 
I know Gabe Davis is going into the free agent market, so do you resign him? What do you do? Um, Shadavious White getting older, coming off those injuries. He's been battling injuries about the past two, three years. I just look at it so where I think the first thing is you have to establish a running game. And that's why offensive coordinator may be a guy who gets replaced, get a guy who has the identity of a balanced offense. <sighs> Defensively, you have to – when you have Tremaine Edmonds and Matt Milano and that defensive line, you can't give – you can't let Joe Burrow go down the field and do what they did. That's why I'm just – I'm stuck for words because it's an all-time underperform. I don't understand – I can understand if you lost the game, but I don't understand how you lose in the fashion in which you lost. That's embarrassing. And you were home. You were home. Everybody cried. No neutral sites. No this, no that. We earned this. We did all this. But it's been this way. It's been this way since you lost to the Jets. Like I said in previous videos, the team hasn't been the same. You know, in the final game against New England, I wasn't sold. In the game against Miami, I wasn't sold. I said the team that scared me the most that won in week one was the Buffalo Bills. And it's come to this. Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen, you know, they weren't on the same page that game. Stephon Diggs, he's an emotional player. He gets mad. He wants the ball, especially in a big game. But it didn't get done. He didn't get it. So now it's just where do we go from here? What do we put around Josh Allen? What do we do with this offensive defensive coordinator? Why can't we win? Why have we underperformed so much in these past few years? To see more videos, check out my series, Roll the Tape, where we look at all 22 film or the best NFL games of the week, your favorite teams, and your favorite players.